Hello, good morning everyone. Welcome back to the trading channel, Von C with Traders. I hope everyone is doing well on the ASX. I just thought I should um, point out a couple of things here. So today I'm just going to talk about common stock trading mistakes or things that make you fail to be profitable. So everybody needs a strategy and you have to have your own strategy. So I'm just going to talk about this based on my own personal experience mainly. So I don't want anyone to be triggered because some pros may be triggered. You know, some things may just remind you of the mistakes that you've made in the past. So I'm not going to discuss any stocks or name them, you know, things like that, because some people are still holding there. And um, as you know, I'm not a broker and whatever I say does not constitute trading advice. So you just need to do your own research as usual. So the first mistake I've got there is buying high and selling low. I know it sounds so simple that we got to buy low, sell high, but you need to know what you're doing. Because what happens most of the times, a stock is going up, some people end up buying high. As I said, I won't name any stocks here, but you can just, um, you know, reflect if you've done this before, whereby you buy a stock high, then the next minute you see another stock running and you think, oh, you know, um, you've been left behind and then you sell another stock at a loss, hoping to catch that run, but you don't catch the run and you end up being caught up again. So don't panic, you know, don't go into this panic mode. Some people, of course, um, have repeated this several times. I've been caught out, you know, in the past. I'm not Mrs. Perfect, really. I've been caught out, you know, when I started trading, where I buy high and I'm like, you know, what have I done, you know? You know, uh, so with years, you know, I've learned quite a lot and I've actually improved from what I used to do. So that's why I just want to highlight this to people. So just try and avoid that. At least if you go one or two stocks, you've done that in your portfolio and you hold 20 um, companies. Yeah, you know, you're not doing bad, but uh, try and avoid that. Secondly, number two, we've got pumps, the pump squad. If you on Twitter you know that some stocks get pumped. So if you're going to be buying, you know, during the pumps, know when to exit because they're really going to pump the, you know, out of you. So just make sure that you don't get pumped into buying stocks because some people will be pumping these stocks to you so that you actually buy what they're selling to you. So you need to be very, very careful about that. So don't get pumped into buying stocks, whether it's on hot copper, Radiate, whether it's on Twitter, whether it's on top stocks, whether it's somebody calling you or whatever method. Just do your own research. Number three, we've got FOMO. This fear of missing out. Stock is on the run. You think, oh my gosh, this stock was running. For example, yesterday stocks were running, you know, at opening today. Stocks went right up. But some people thought, oh, I should have bought this. And they bought it a high. So don't get involved with this fear of missing out. You'd rather look for another stock that is uh, quite low, that can eventually make you money and that can run eventually. So you've got to be very careful. So you're not missing out anything really because the ASX is huge. You've got other stocks that you can get into that are still waiting to run. So just don't get involved with this fear of missing out. Number four, we've got lack of research and education. This is a must. If you don't read, if you don't research, you will not make it on the market. You need to do your research. You need to read because nobody's going to read for you. People can read, analyze, buy into their buy stocks because they know what they've read and they are basing their decision on that. So you need to read because you need to be accountable for your own decisions because you've got the trading pin. It's your money at the end of the day. So you cannot afford to not read and to not research. So you need to do that. Another thing, we've got five uh, fear. Fear here is, you know, sometimes you've bought a stock and the minute you bought it, it dropped. So now you're scared to even buy a stock because you're scared that this can happen again. You know, this has happened to me because when that happens, you get, you know, you lack the motivation. You just think, oh, geez, you know, this is going to happen again. Then you get scared and it takes you a lot of, um, you know, time and uh, 
energy to try start buying again so that's another thing so you're scared and then some stocks are running you're just watching looking at them thinking what should i do so just look into what happened you know before and see if you can get into that stock if you think it's gonna run but based on research so at times fear is not good because it makes us you know fail to make profit because you're so scared and sometimes you can even go weeks or you know months just watching the asx seeing the runs but you're so scared and number six emotions emotions this is a big thing here because some traders trade on these emotions you end up loving the stock so much that you sit there looking at your profits you've got huge profits then you watch that profit drop you know by 100 percent, 200 percent, simply because you're so attached to the stock yes of course maybe it's your strategy long term but is the stock going to get back up there you know to that high again for example we had a uh, bit or of course i said i'm not going to name stocks so I, I'm just, I just want to give a good example here. We had BIT, which ran the other year, and I think it must have been two years or so ago. It ran right up, but it hasn't gone back to that high. So if you're going to love a stock so much, you've got to be realistic about this. And another thing I'll talk about is greed in the emotions. This greed is the same thing, like I said before, you watch your profits drop, you watch them drop. Yes, you may have said you long term, short term, day trading, whatever, but sometimes you need to be realistic with your profits. You know, it doesn't hurt to bank. It doesn't hurt at all. So you just got to be realistic. Don't be too greedy. Don't be too greedy because that's how we lose at times. These are some of the mistakes we make. You know, you see a hundred thousand dollar profit there and then you just look at it. I did that before. I had a profit of like um, 97,000. I looked at it. And I was just thinking, oh, the stock is going to go up. And I watched this drop to 50000 So just be realistic. This is just based on my experience. So don't be so greedy that you become so unrealistic and your brain is clouded. So number seven, no risk um, mitigating strategy there. So you need to, you know, just be real. Look at your losses. How much have I lost? Don't just look at your winners and say, oh, I've made this much profit. But at the same time, how many, how much of a loss have you made? So you need to also, you know, um, look into that. And also you need to ask yourself, is the market controlling me or I'm controlling the market? Are you in control of your trades? Are you in control of your money? You know, you don't want to end up gambling when you're thinking you're trading so you need to have a risk mitigating strategy there and as well in investing just invest what you can afford to lose another thing number eight we're going to go into lack of planning you know what are you doing on the asx what are you hoping for you know what is your plan what are you intending to achieve so you need to look at these things so it's not about everyone around you it's your portfolio it's your pin number there it's your money in the bank, so you need to plan. Just have a good plan. And then we go to number nine, stress management. Stress management, how are you managing your stress? Can you imagine if you looked at your profits and they dropped like crazy? And those profits are with, you know, like maybe 30%, you could have got maybe 200%, with 500%, or even 100%. So that can be quite stressful. And uh, so you need to look into what you can do, you know, to de-stress. And at times you watch the stocks all day. You didn't manage to get in. You know, these stocks all ran. These stocks all went up. And you didn't even buy anything. That can be quite stressful because you sit there and watch the money was there. But as I said, maybe because you were scared. Because something has happened before in the past. So... You need some stress coping uh, mechanisms when uh, trading on the ASX. And whatever you can do to minimize the stress, just do it. You know, you don't want to regret and say, I wish I had. Oh, I wish I had. And trust me, the stock market moves so quickly. So, for example, even today, the stocks that ran opened quite high. Eventually, they came down. So you don't want to be stressing about, I wish I had done this. I wish I had done this. At the end of the day, as I said, Depends if you're long-term, mid-term, short-term, day trading. You know your strategy. You know your goals. Nobody's going to say to you, 
it's time to sell now. Might as well tell you buy now, sell there. But I, I can't be doing that, of course. Then number 10, lack of rational decisions and thinking. So this is, you know, when I started trading, I wasn't being rational, really. My decisions were based on probably nothing I'd read about. I was just looking for stocks there. So you need to think and be realistic. And I've seen some people saying maybe a stock is two cents, then they're already hoping for a dollar. Stock is um, maybe even five cents. They're hoping for a dollar. And we know for a fact that not many stocks get to that dollar. They will some, you know, but it's, um, you know, if you look at the previous stocks on the market, you can tell that it's not like even 50% because we'll all be multimillionaires by now. So you need to be just realistic, you know. Whatever decision you make, just be realistic. Don't be looking through rosy tinted windows because at the end of the day, numbers don't lie. So always remember that. And the market will have the final say at the end of the day. So don't make these mistakes. I've made them in the past, but I try avoid all, all this now because I don't want to be caught up in this. I want to make profit. We all want to make profit. So avoid these mistakes when trading on the SX or in the market, wherever you're trading. So hope you all have a good day and happy trading.